Hello everybody! Guess what time of the week it is? It's shell time. Fun with shells. Alright, now this week we're going to look at something, well, that I haven't shown before, but I'm sure you've all seen them. Um, the good old cone shell. Um, I have quite a few cone shells. Um, they're probably, cowries are my favourite, followed probably by the volutas and then the cones, but that's okay because I they're all beautiful but okay so I've picked out six um, shells to show you now most of these I have um, some data and stuff on but some of them are, are actually I got a little surprise at the end um, yeah I'm gonna show you my cone shells um I've got a bit of a headache so I'm not as probably loud as what I normally am but um that's okay I'm still gonna do this anyway because I don't want to let anybody down especially my number one fan Trishy Okay, now first of all we're going to start with um, a little cone shell and you've probably all seen this one. It's quite a common cone shell. Um, it's got the little spots on it, really quite cute. Usually in brownie, even sort of pinky tones. Um, that's the data I've got inside of him there, which I'll read in a minute or I'll tell you where... It's from, oh hang on, do I know where this one's from? Actually, no, I don't think I do. No, this one hasn't got any data, so it's just got the name of it in there. Um, so this one's actually called Aconus arenatus. Now, the other name that they call it, and you can see why, um, it's called the sand dusted cone. It looks like it's got little, little sand bits all over it. Um, now these guys only, um, I've got a small one. I thought they only came you know, up to 30 or 40 mil, but apparently, um, I just did a bit of research, they go up to about 90 mil, which is 9 centimetres. Um, now, one thing to note, and you probably all know this, but maybe there's one or two of you out there that don't, cone shells are very venomous. Some more venomous than others, but um, cone shells, you know, if you're collecting them live, which, yeah, I don't even think I would... Oops! I dropped him. Um, I don't even think I would do. Um, yeah, if you get bitten or stung by one of these, um, yeah, you can become quite ill. Um, some of them are so venomous that they could kill you. Um, not all of them, but yeah, so that's one thing to remember about cone shells. All cone shells are basically venomous, um, but they all vary in degrees of venom. Um, now this little fella um, is found um, around the Red Sea, the Indo-Pacific, um, Northern Territory, Queensland, Western Australia. When I go over to Vanuatu, I found a few of these over there um, around Mystery Island, um, Isle of Pines. I, uh, I saw a broken one. I didn't actually get a full one. But um, Port Vila, I've bought a few shells and these have been in it. So they're around there as well. So yeah, they're, a cute little, they're a cute little shell. They're not overly exciting, but they're cute. Everybody's probably seen these. Um, they're quite common. So Okay, so that's the Cona Serenitas. Now the next one I've got, I've got this... Um, from Ben's collection actually. Um, this one is called, this is a nice little one, this one, I like this one. This one's called Aconus Bullartus. A bull artus. Not a bull artist, a bull artus. Because you know we all probably know a bull artist in our life, but no, he's a bull artus. He's actually, he reminds me of um, the Conus Adamsoni, which is a very rare and very expensive cone. This is a similar one, but not quite as um, rare and not that expensive. Um, these guys um, are also called the bubble cone. It's hard for me to show you with my fingers all over them. Um, that's their other common name, the bubble cone. Now, um, these, this one actually does have the data in it. Thank you, Ben. This one um, was from the Solomon Islands. Um, now, these ones um, go between about 40 mil to 80 mil. Um, generally, this one is about 50 mil that I've got here. Um, now, they're found in the Indian Ocean, off Mauritius, the Philippines, and New Caledonia. Um, this one was from Solomon Islands, so it's all around that area. Um, they come in a orangey rusty sort of a color sometimes slightly pink which then leads me to think they look a little bit like the conus adamsoni but yeah i'd love to have an adamsoni in my um in my shell collection but 
yeah, not yet. It's a little bit too expensive for me. But this one, this one, this one, it's doable for everybody. Um, I think I paid there usually thirty, forty dollars, fifty dollars even. Some of them can be more depending on um what data they've got with them. Um, whereas the Conus Adam Sony, oh, you can pay thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand for one of those. Now I can hear the postie coming. My friend is the postie and sometimes she comes up to the garage door and wants to have a chat. So let's just see if she does that. And if she does, you're going to have to... Let's see. I can hear it coming. Okay, so this is the Conus Bullartus. Bullartus. Not bull artist. <laughs> okay. See, once I get talking, my headache goes away. So, Okay, so number three shell on the list we have, and you'll probably all know this one. Is this the postie coming? I can hear it, but I don't know whether it's coming up our driveway. No, I think it's just stopping at the mailbox. That's good. No, they've gone. Okay, you can probably hear that. Okay, this little fella, you probably all know this one. This one's quite a common one. Everybody's probably got one of these um, or seen them. Um, this is a Conus Marmorius. Um, pretty cone. They are gorgeous. These, this is probably one of my favourite cone shells, um, just from the pattern and everything. Now, um, this one, these are venomous, obviously, like all cone shells. Um, this one I don't have the actual data on. Um, they go from anywhere from 25, 30 mil or 3 centimetres right up to 15 centimetres. This one um, is only about 40 or 50 mil, um, so it's only a, a baby one. I have had bigger ones. I don't think I've got it anymore in my collection. Um, now these guys are quite common um, over, like you can get them in Australia as well as over New Caledonia, Vanuatu. Um, that's where they really do um, find a lot of these. Um, there's different variants of these actually and you can even get, and I've got a little, um, I won't show you today, I'm just not sure whether it's a Conus marmorius or whether it's a um, Marchinatus. Um, I've had a few people look at it. Um, they can come with an orange background and the white um, spots. That's quite rare. Um, my little one I got over in um, Port Vila, actually I just bought a bag of shells and it was in this, for $5, it was in this bag of shells. Um, and it was just off the market, so people at the markets in Port Vila and um, I went through all these shells, up, we went on a cruise up on, um, the boat and found this little cone shell it's only about 26 mils long I will show you another time um, and it's got the orange really orange rusty um, colors with the white um, it's only a baby but I think it's a really good find um, because it could be what they call a pseudo marmorius which are quite um, rare but I don't I can't find anybody that can tell me whether it definitely is that or not um, probably not no my luck but um yeah, so this one, um, they, they also call the marbled cone, um, but the real name, Conus marmorius, but these are quite common. Everybody's probably seen these before. Um, they're a nice shell. Beautiful pattern. Okay, so the next shell we have, or cone shell we have is, I got this one from Ben's collection as well. A lot of you all know who Ben is. Um, this one is called a Conus Barthelemy. Now, this one's getting up there in the in the um, good specimen cones. Um, this one um, comes, the data was in it, comes from Reunion Island or around Reunion Island. That's actually where they are mainly found. Um, this one's got orangey, really orangey, even into a light pink tone. Um, some of them can be pinkish. This one's more orangey. Um, beautiful pattern, beautiful, beautiful pattern. This one's, uh, I think it's about 60 mil long, six centimeters. Um, this is a, a good cone shell to have in a collection, a specimen collection. Um, I really like it. They, these guys get from around 40 mil to 80 mil. Um, and sometimes, as I said, they're orangey tones, but sometimes they can be into the light pinkish tones, um, depending on the shell. Got a really nice spire at the front. You can see that. Yeah, so a Conus Barthelemy. If you have one, they are a good shell to have. 
Okay, now the next one we've got, I, I've i always thought this was actually, this one here was called Aconis nicobarius. Nicobarius, or baricus, sorry, nicobaricus. But I've had a bit of a look this morning and I'm not sure, well, yeah, I don't know. It also comes up and shows up as a areniosis, areniosis. So conus areniosis or conus nicobaricus. I'm just I'm not 100% confident on that. Um, I think I got this one from Ben's collection as well, if I can remember correctly. Um, there's no, oh yes, there is, but I can't get it out. I can just see a little bit of pink, no, I'm not going to bother trying to get it out. A little bit of pink paper there. Um, this one's got, now I don't know whether you can see, just in, oh, just here, it's got what they call a growth line. It's like a mark, sort of down. Oh, you can see it a bit better there, right? Oh, pff, I can't. I don't see right along there, just along that line there. Still a good shell, but um, growth line shells don't usually fetch as much money as straight out shells. Um, so this one here is about 65 mil. Apparently, they get um, from about 45 to 100 mil. Um, these guys are only found around Tanzania, India, Sri Lanka, Philippines, and Indonesia so um, yeah 100 mil that'd be quite a nice size um, a bit bigger um, the patterning on this one is is not as good as what some of them can be they're a bit this one's a bit I don't know whether you call it faded but not as prominent um, okay so that one is the conus nicobaricus or areniosis I, I'm not sure I'm, I, I can't yeah figure out exactly what it is okay so that's cone number five now Cone number six, and I'm sure you guys will have seen one of these as well. Now, I don't have any data in this one. One of my favourites. The good old Conus textile. Lovely shell. These guys are just gorgeous. Look at the patterning on that. Isn't it superb? This is... I think one of the, well, it's, it's quite a good size, this one. They do come smaller. I've got some smaller ones. Um, look at the patterning on it. Oh, you just It's just amazing how these shells are formed. And, oh, it's just, it takes your breath away just how beautiful some of them are. They're all beautiful, but some of them are not as beautiful as others. Okay, so Conus Textile. This one, now this one is a cone shell to have but this one is the one that as far as my research shows has the most venomous um, sting to it if you get stung bitten by it um, this one can be extremely bad and lead to death if you get stung by it so yeah as much as you know you might see one and go oh I'm just gonna pick that up you've got if it's live you've got to be very careful um, I probably wouldn't go near it once again um, now these guys can grow, this one um, I think was about 60, 70 mil. These guys can go up to about 150 mil or 15 centimetres. So, you know, you're talking another that much on top of this one. Um, now these guys, um, they can be found, or oh, the other name for it is the cloth of gold cone. I've never heard of that before, but that's one of the names. Um, yeah, so the conus textile can be found um, around the Red Sea and then in Australia, around New South Wales, Northern Territory, Queensland and WA. And then it can be found over near New Zealand, um, also around East Africa, Hawaii and French Polynesia. So this one gets around, this little cone shell. Quite a popular little shell. A lot of people have these in their, in their um, collection as well. Um, they're, yeah, they're becoming very popular. They're not a, a rare shell, put it that way. Okay, so the Conus Textile. Now, that's our number six shell, but as I said, I've got a little surprise. I've actually got a number seven shell, a bonus shell for today. Now, I just decided, because I can, that I'd do another shell. Now, this one is my big boy. I've got, this is my biggest cone shell. Um, the data that's in this one, I got this one from Ben as well, I think. Thanks, Ben. Um, the data that's in this one says that this one is... I don't think it is. Um, have a look at this. Look how big it is. It says that this one is a Conus and Gassy, but I'm not feeling that. I'm sorry. Um, 
I think, and this is just my opinion, that this one is a Conus Pulcher. P-U-L-C-H-E-R. Um, because of its size and also because it looks like what was in my book and that apparently these guys are the biggest cone shell or get to the biggest size cone shells you will get. So I'm thinking it's a Conus Pulcher. I'd like to find out from someone that might know. So if anybody sees this that does know, please message me just for verification. Um, yeah, this is my biggest cone shell I have. Lovely patterning on that. Really pretty spire there. Um, so these guys are found off um, Eastern Atlantic Ocean around Guinea, Senegal and Angola. Um, yeah, I can't really... They, that, and they grow from between 40 mil and 260 mil. So this one I've got is about 120 mil, so 12 centimetres. Um, so, and they get to 26 centimetres. So I'm thinking this is definitely a, a, a Conus Pulcher, but, you know, I'm not always right. And I will admit that. So, yeah. Do you have one as big as mine? Let me know. Shell, that is, a cone shell. Trish, I know what you're thinking. And no, I'm talking about the shell. All right. Okay, so that was my bonus shell today. Number seven, the Conus Pulcher, I think, not Anne Gassy. Yeah, so, right, we are done, I think. Um, yeah, I haven't... I. We'll pick my shells for next week. Um, I usually put these away and pick my next lot of shells. So I have no idea what I'm going to pick. I haven't decided yet. Um, so, yeah, I'm um, busy today building a couple of websites, mine and somebody else's, and, um, yeah, looking for stuff to put on it. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing after this. But I will um, edit this and do what I have to do to it to get it on to YouTube so I can post it for you guys to have a look at. And, um, yeah. I hope you've had fun with shells, cone shells. All right, guys. Well, I shall talk to you next week. I hope that helps you ID a few of your own shells. And if not, well, who cares? It was fun to watch. Signing off. See you guys. Bye.